in today's tutorial we're going to create this scrolling date animation in adobe premiere pro so here we are in adobe premiere pro the first thing we're going to do is create a sequence so we're going to go to new item sequence and then settings just copy these settings right here and click ok next up what we want to do is we want to go to the type tool right here click that go to our program panel click right there and now we want to start creating our dates that are going to be scrolled through so i'm going to start with 2020 and i'm just going to keep going down until i hit 2031 because i'm going to show you a real sleek animation if you add an extra date all right so now with all our dates set we want to make sure that's centered and then we want to start from the first date so i'm going to click here just to bring that up quickly and then i'm going to drag it down to the middle and i'm holding shift while i drag so that even if i go to the left or right it's still going to stay centered so we're going to drop that right there next thing we're going to drag this out a little bit because we're going to have to add some animation now where it says graphics vector motion we're going to go right here to the text where our dates are drop that out and then we're going to choose this mask right here i want to increase the size of this so let's go to 250 we have to center this again now i'm using the helvetica old font we go back up here to our mask let's expand this a little bit let's expand this by clicking on these two squares right here i clicked and drag click that hold shift bring it out a bit same thing right click and drag pick this one of the squares and drag that out and then I'm going to add a bit of a feather I want. I want to play with this a little bit just so that the date looks a little faded so that when I scroll through, you'll see how the effect looks when you scroll through and it has this faded, it fades in a little bit right there because we had the feather. Let's feather it a little bit more. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's go back to our first date. This is 2020. We're gonna create a keyframe and then we're gonna maybe go up a few seconds. Let's go up to one second. Let's see how that looks. Scroll through our dates till we hit halfway to 2031 right here. And then we're gonna go up maybe a few keyframes and then center 2030. To give it that kind of scrolling look you can see now our dates are going to be scrolling now with this we're going to punch these in i'm selecting this panel right here and i'm zooming in and i want to edit my keyframe so right here i'm going to actually go to temporal interpolation i'm going to go ease in and then ease out and then here i'm going to select these two keyframes i'm going to go to this i'm going to choose spatial interpolation then linear the reason why i did that is because if you use temporal interpolation it's going to do this weird ping pongy effect where it's not going to look as fluid when you're trying to go through one day and then back to the other what we want to do now we're going to go to this keyframes i'm going to edit this graph a little bit i want it to start really fast and then slow down and same thing here we're going to do the same thing about right here Try to get your graph looking something like this. And let's play that. So next up, what I want to do now is I want to add an effect. I'm going to add a blur effect, directional blur. We're going to drop it on our dates to directional blur. We want to first create a keyframe here. Make it go really fast to about there. It's a little bit, because it's still going to be scrolling. Bring that up. Let's go try 30. And then we're going to Bring this down to zero. For this one, we're gonna do ease in, ease out. Let's drag the middle keyframe close to the first keyframe. I think because it slows down, goes fast, and starts so slowing down. There we go. Now you can see how this whole date scrolling animation is coming alive. So let's add a little sauce to this date animation. I'm gonna go here to the pen tool, click right here, then here, and I'm going to Add a stroke. Let's add this stroke to about six pixels. Drag this up to the front. I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit. 
and then I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Alt and dragging it up on the timeline. Click and hold Shift while you drag it down so it stays on the same axis and just bring it right here. I think that looks better. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you create a scrolling timeline effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.